It's Friday and another week in Observe. We're going to find out what he has this week and we're going to start right now. What's up guys? Reckless here and welcome to Guardian Watcher. If it's your first time here and you love Destiny and learning all things about the game, then subscribe and click on the bell. That way you guys don't miss out on anything. So, Zer is back, and it is week 25 of Zer, and Zer is located on Titan. So, we're going to mark him, and then find out what he has this week. Zer! What's up, dude? So, like always, we're going to start with the left-hand side. We have the Wordcliff Coil, a.k.a. the Dubious Volley, which is an arc rocket launcher. Intrinsic perk on this is Mad Scientist, which this weapon fires a volley of rockets, then we have Volatile Launch, Extended Mag, Mechanized Auto Loader, which this weapon automatically reloads on ammo pickup. And then we have Composite Stock. And like all exotic weapons, they come with a plus five weapon attack mod. If you guys don't grab, if you guys don't have this, go ahead and grab it. It is definitely a good exotic to have. So I probably would rate it a tier two in PVE as well as PVP. So go ahead and grab that. Next exotic we'll be going over is the Mechaneer's Trick Sleeves for the Hunter class, and this comes with three mobility. And trying to perk on this is Spring Loaded Mounting, which increases sidearm ready and reload speed. Then we have Mobility Enhancement Mod, as well as Posterior Reinforcement Mod, and this comes with an Acceleration Mod. Now, these are an okay exotic, definitely not top tier, just because it specifies sidearm, and sidearms are decent in Destiny 2 right now, so... It's not like a go-to weapon all the time. So I probably am going to rate this maybe a tier 2.5 to tier 3 in PvP, as well as a probably the same in PvE. There are better exotics out there than uh, the Mechaneer's Trick Sleeves. Next exotic we'll be going over is the Crest of Alpha Loopy for the Wonderful Titans. This actually comes with one mobility, two resilience, and one recovery. And terms of perk on this is Survival Well, which generates an orb of light from supers and a healing pulse when Barricade is active. Then we have Plasteel Reinforcement Mod, as well as Restorative Mod, and then we also have Power Bracket Mod. Now, this is an okay exotic in Destiny 2. It definitely was a lot better in the original Destiny, but it has a good all-around uh, aspect to it. So I'm going to rate this a tier 2 in PvE, but probably a tier 2.5 in PvP. There are better exotics out there specific to your subclass, and I probably wouldn't waste my time just on a crest of Alpha Loopy. Just saying. Next exotic we'll be going over is the Eye of Another World for the Warlock. This comes with one mobility and two recovery. In terms of perk on this is Cerebral Uplink which highlights priority targets and improves the regeneration speed of your grenade, melee, and rift abilities. Then we have Mobility Enhancement Mod, Restorative Mod, as well as Impact Absorption Mod. Now this exotic is an okay exotic. I probably would still 100% use the Ophidian Aspect over this, as well as the Nezarek Sin, but this exotic probably would be in my top 5 at least for the Warlock. So it's not bad, but it's not like the 100% go-to exotic to have. So if you guys don't have this, go ahead and grab it. I'm probably going to rate this a tier 2 in PvE, but most likely a tier 2.5 in PvP. Next, we have your consumables, which is the three of coins, which if you pop one of these, you get a chance for an exotic for four hours. And then last but not least, we have your awesome, wonderful Faded Engram. Give me a second. I'm going to get more legendary shards. So let's see what we get this week for our Faded Engram with our Titan. We get the Capri's Horn. And if you guys enjoyed this Destiny 2 video, then feel free to watch these other two videos. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more, because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.